Hey, this is uh, Chris from Kydex. Uh, let's show you today how to, uh, to service a little bit on your gear and uh, we'll go over how to uh, tension the belts and uh, make sure that they have the correct tension um, for when you are flying the wind turbine. We are in here at the uh, workshop today um, and if you come in and have a closer look, we have, uh, we have the two belts here on the gearbox. We have the low speed side, which is driven by the uh, blades and we have the high speed side which is connected through a shaft up here. We call this the top stage, uh, and that drives the generator on the other side. I have already gone ahead and removed the uh, tower top node here that is normally attached on the, on the alloy block here. This is just to give you a better view. You need access to the bolts up here. You can, you can have that, but removing this part just makes it a little bit easier for the camera to see what's going on. So, on this one, we have really, really loose belts. This one has not been tightened yet, this boom. Um, so what you want to do is that you want to loosen all the screws for the top stage here, and we want to slide this up. We'll start with tensioning the, um, the low speed side belt, and then we we'll go ahead and tension the uh, high speed side afterwards. But first up, we're going to loosen the screws up here. So there's two here. And to gain access to the lower one, I can rotate the gear down here. And this is, uh, this is by the way, this is the four millimeter uh, Allen key or hex wrench. And then if you come over here, then we also have one here and one here. And right away, I can go ahead and also detension the motor uh, pulley. So we just time de detention these. Next up, you want to grab a 13 millimeter uh, wrench, and you need to be able to insert it in here to, to gain access to these two these two uh, bolts that are sitting in top of the alloy uh, alloy piece. Um, so what you want to do is uh, rotate these bolts upwards to press the press the gear up. Uh, you want to keep this as level as possible and we'll, we'll do some checks uh, along the way. Um, but let's move this one up and there's a, there's a few tricks and, uh, and things you should be aware of. The first thing is we want to make sure that we don't tilt this top shaft up here. Uh, so what I like to do is I want to have about 8 millimeters of clearance in here. It doesn't really matter, you can readjust this later on uh, anyways. But the screw in here, it, it's going to rest rest on the uh, back screw here. And then I'll take one bolt over here and just slightly tighten this one down. Not super tight, but just a little bit to gain, to gain some friction on this side. Because when I start taking this, pulling this one up, and there is no tension on this belt, but a lot of tension on this belt, then the whole thing wants to lever up like this. So tightening this side over here, the, um, the high speed side, prevents that and you can sort of better control the angle of the shaft. So just tighten one of them down a little bit, just slightly. And then we start tensioning this belt. So we do this by turning counterclockwise because we want to take the bolt upwards and press the whole assembly upwards here. So and this is a little bit fiddly sometimes because you can only go a little way. So I take this bolt, and normally when you get your turbine, this has been done, so you won't have to turn it this many times. You can speed this up a bit. All right, so now I start uh, gaining a little bit of tension on the belt. It's still a little bit loose, but now is the time to, uh, to sort of adjust everything and see that everything is aligned. And if you come in close, it looks like there's a little bit more air over here than over here. So I want to bring this side up a little bit and I do this with the bolt in here. I'll just eyeball, eyeball this. Uh, now it looks pretty common, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty equal on both of them. So this belt is still a little loose, but it's gaining some tension on it. And now we want to tension it up to, uh, to where we want to have it. So I'll just do slow increments, feel with my fingers the tension
And now I'm at a point, I have done this many times, so I can sort of say, okay, this, this feels good, but how would you know what feels good? So you're gonna need a tool for this, um, and we'll show you. So um, there's a little bit of noise here in the hall, so see if I can do it on, uh, on my phone here. Uh, we, get, we go into, um, we go into a, an analyzer app that analyzes the sound input from your phone and can give you a frequency of that. We want this belt to resonate at a frequency of 210 hertz, uh, sort of in that, uh, that ballpark. So uh, I have an app here that's gonna show me the, uh, the sound spectrum. I'm looking for 200 and around 210. So I can go in and point, and we have the link in the description down below to this app. For This is for Android. We'll also do a similar one for, uh, for iPhone. That's also in the description down below. So I got this plotted in. In this app, I can sort of set a mark on the, on the 200. This is now 211 hertz. And then we can sort of tap the belt here. I'll hold the microphone up to the belt and start tapping. And you can sort of see this peak. Now as a talk, you can also see the peak, but this peak that's up around here, you can go in and analyze it, 270 hertz. So that's a little bit too much. So I want to take a little bit of the tension out. So again, this time I'm going clockwise to take the bolt down and lower the tension in the belt a little bit. Feel it, and let's try to tap it again. Oopsie. Now we can see there's a small peak around 223 hertz. This is all right. You can go from 200 to 220, 30. That's all right. But try and hit the 210 mark if you can. That, that's the best. But uh, to get on with the video, let's say that this is good enough. Try and get a feel for this. Um, this It's pretty tight when I take my fingers in. If you come over here and have a look, I need to push quite a bit, but I can push it in like this. Maybe I'm applying yeah, a little bit of force here but it's it's pretty tight uh, the belt but it's not overly tight if you get it overly tight you will wear out the parts much much quicker uh, and it's bad for bearings for everything so um, so try not to over tighten it that's important <clears throat> when I'm satisfied with this <clears throat> I want to do a quick spin test to see to see sort of where the belt sits in its, its, in its normal position so I'll spin it around and see that the shaft is not drawing the belt in, in any uh, sort of wrong way. I look up here at the small pulley and I look down here at the large pulley. And if I'm, uh, if I'm satisfied with this, then I'll go ahead and, uh, and, um, and tighten the uh, locking nuts or the uh, clamping, clamping bolts here down. And I wanna put some good torque on these. <clears throat> this one is a little bit hard to reach. Let's swap over to another one. There we go. This side is locked down. Get my one with the handle on. It's much more comfortable. And then you want to lock this one down as well if you are satisfied with the angle up here and how, how it runs. Let's just have another look here. So this one. Whoops. And it seems like we have a slight problem here. Uh, we should have the correct tension now that this plate is, is set, but it looks like this one has come up a little bit and there's a little bit less room here. And it also, you can clearly see the belt over here is running a lot on the outside here. And there's even, there's even an air gap up here. That's not good. We want to fix this. So before tightening these down, Let's use the wrench and have this bolt in here, have that come up a bit. Yeah, this is much better. 
now we can see that we spin it. When you spin it, uh, you should also take care of the direction of the spin, of course. I forgot to mention that. So the turbine spins in a clockwise position seen from the gear. So if you look down this way, then you want to spin the blades, which are normally are not attached to this, but connected to this. You want to spin that clockwise, so in this direction, this direction here. And then again, I look up on the belt. It's running straight on it here. It's running in the pulley here. I can use a small tool to see it wants to rest on the outside, on the outside flange here. Maybe we should take it up a little bit. All right, now the belt is a little bit more over to this side. It's gonna be pushed down as we tension this belt. There is not a lot of tension on this belt. You can see the motor mount is free to flex. So what I did now is I was a little bit unsatisfied with that the belt was running a lot on the flange, out the outer flange on the, uh, on the motor pulley. So I just took this one and pushed it a little bit more upwards. And now it's running on this, on the inner pulley instead, on the, or on the inner flange. On the, of the pulley. So that's a little bit better. I'm satisfied with this now, so I'm gonna lock this one down. And you should tighten these down. These should take quite some torque. So now we've got the shaft fixed up here. Do one more check. Again, check this build that you're still satisfied with it. And now we want to tighten this belt. So we loosened this one and the motor mount here is free to, uh, to flex and move in, in a lot of directions. What we can do is that we push, we uh, secure the, uh, the lower one, we tighten that a little bit, like this. And then we need, and then, um, then we're gonna need a tool. Let's take another Allen key. See if I can get this one in here. And now I can lever this, the motor down. We can feel the tension as I press it down. I get increased tension here. And what we're looking for in this motor is, a, is looser tension than over in this one. So again, I go by, uh, by finger feel. This is pretty tight. Let's tighten it a little bit down and let's do a measurement of it. This feels, this feels pretty tight. Let's see. So for the smaller belt, you want half, almost half of the other one. So this was one, two, two, 210, we want 110 here on the, on the small, smaller one. So uh, let's look at the app. You can see we get some overtones up here but it's not too tight, so I'm not really worried about those. Uh, but there was also a peak down here. Let's, let's have another look. You can sort of see where I put the cross. Uh, that's around 106 hertz. So this is actually pretty good. Uh, this, this feels loose, looser than the other one, quite a bit looser actually, uh, but it's sufficient enough uh, to have it. And again, if you tighten this too much, then you're going to get increased friction, increased wear. Uh, you don't need that. But of course, it doesn't have to be completely loose. Um, be mindful when you're doing this, that the pulley here, the pulley position matters in here. If you come over and have a look, you can risk riding on the bolts themselves here. Uh, if that happens and the pulley is not, the pulley needs to be flush to the shaft out here. That's a good sort of indicator. If it's too far in, then it will ride the bolts. So uh, be mindful that it's not rubbing in there. And then we're gonna tighten it down. Again, make it good and tight. Don't want it to come loose. And then I like to sort of go by feel. Does the belt still feel as they did before? If they did, then I'm, then I'm uh, satisfied. And that's how to, uh, to tighten the belt and make sure that you have the right tension on your belts.